Hello rope learners and flow lovers! My name is Laura Lai and today in this video we are going to learn the Dara Knot. So what is the Dara Knot? Let me show you a video here. That is a sample of the Dara Knot. The name came from the Celtic name Dara Knot and its origin is from the roots of the tree. And if you imagine the roots of the tree, they are intertwined and you wouldn't know where the beginning or the ending is. So I hope that you have watched and learned how to do my previous video, the anchored matadors and the anchored race and chase or the figure eights. If you've seen that, it would be easy for you to do this Daranat. So the inspiration, by the way, for my Daranat is from a video of Beya or slush ropes. I, when I was learning my, my rope flow last year, I saw this old video of her doing the propeller. So she was doing the propeller and she was turning. And it looked to me like she was fighting and she has a sword on her hand or a lightsaber. And I said to myself, I want to do that. But I want to hold both the ropes, the handles, on my, both my hands. So I said, how can I do it? So that's when the anchor came to me. So yeah, we have beginner options and advanced options. So don't worry. If you're a beginner, you can still do this. I assure you. <laughs> so okay, so let's do our anchored matadors. So for our anchored matador, we do our overhand and our race and chase. Overhand, race and chase. Overhand, race and chase. So that already is the dara knot. And if you add your underhand, which you need to turn 180 degrees, so it's overhand, race and chase, underhand, matador, race and chase. So back to your overhand, race and chase. So don't forget the out steer as well and the in steer so that when you do your turns, the rope wouldn't hit you. That's the, the key or that's the secret. So when you do your out steer and you turn, the rope would be far away from you. And when you do your in steer, when you're on your underhand, and you do your in steer, the rope would also be far from you. So okay, so that's the beginner option. Now, let's add another pattern for the, for the dara knot. And it's, um, consist, it is, consists of two whips. So an underhand whip at the back, and an overhand whip on the side. Okay, so I'll show it to you. Overhand matador, race and chase, underhand, and whip. So three whips actually. Underhand, underhand, and the overhand whip. So again, let's do the Dara knot. So overhand matador, anchored matador, Race and chase, underhand. Now let's add our footwork this time. And let's go back to our overhand whips. Underhand, overhand whips. Okay? So yeah, that is the dara knot. Uh, that's a simple, the simplest I could make and explain. And I hope again that you've learned something new in this video and thank you for watching and let's keep on rolling and flowing bye thank you for more videos on how i incorporate and do combos you can follow my instagram account and you'll see my flow videos there thank you bye